Hey guys, I'm Camille and welcome to my Camille Yogi channel. So currently I'm in Queenstown in beautiful New Zealand, but originally I'm from Lithuania. And through my channel we go through classes uh, step by step. So if you will follow them weekly, you will go from the basics up to the more advanced classes. So you sh if you are new to aerial yoga, just try to start from the lesson one or two, that you get more detailed poses how to get into them. Because later on, we will just uh, continue calling them by the name and not concentrating more on the details. So please follow my and subscribe to my channel for more of the aerial yoga classes to improve uh, your skills to improve your practice, deepening it, and let's go to the soul. So aerial yoga, so in today's aerial yoga class, we're gonna focus on arm strengthening and also shoulder opening. So we will uh, concentrate on strengthening our deltoids, biceps, triceps, and as well as uh, stretching out our shoulder line and uh, taking away all the tension from the neck or more or less trying to do so. So let's meet in embryo pose. So if you're not sure how to go to embryo poses, check out the video above and there's a whole introduction and details. And now let's just go and meet in the embryo. Don't forget to straighten your back and relax your arms, either on your knees, either in shins, relax your head, just close your eyes, just check and go through your body if it's really relaxed. No more tensions anywhere. And just uh, accept this moment. Just accept it as it's yours only. And then bring your awareness to your breathing. Each time, try to breathe in more deeply. Taking bigger breaths. And in that way, slowly we're going into Ujjayi breathing, victorious breathing. When you're exhaling through that soothing sound as if a wind. But inhalation as well as exhalation is always through the nose. Feel the air, the stream of it coming up and down, spreading through the body, through your thoughts. And just clearing your mind of unneeded thoughts. Just inhaling relaxation, exhaling attention, inhaling love, exhaling fear, inhaling what is new and upcoming, exhaling what is old and not needed. Just free out your body and your mind. Just focusing in full attention only on your breath. Just a few more moments. Just feeling this big breath, how the body expands. How it lifts up and falls down. Just 
So just two more big breaths. Slowly just move your fingers and toes and uh, take your feet out of the sun. Inhale and reach up and stretch as if you awake in the morning. And exhaling, taking the muscle in front of you, pushing away and bring your whichever leg is was behind. Just bring it to the front and slowly we will go down on the mat. Uh, and on your knees and then just bring your pelvis on your heels and just uh, fall forward relax your head just feel how you sink into your shoulders and we will start to warm them up and open them so from here just a little bit swinging from side to side awakening the back And just still keep breathing in a Ujjayi way, deep and slow. And just meet in the middle. And from here, we will more focus on our back and through the spine. So, inhaling through round back, coming up. The head will be the last point that comes up. And exhaling, arching back and opening your chest. Inhaling from your hands, from your arms, lift up and exhale, bend forward. And inhaling again through lower back, middle back, upper back, coming up. And exhaling, just releasing and arching. Inhaling again, reaching up and exhaling forward. So just to keep on doing in this, in this movement in kind of wave style, wave motion, just feeling each vertebra, each bone, how you go through, together with breath, two more times, inhaling up, exhaling either backwards or frontwards. And meeting in front. Inhale, lift your hips. We go to the cat cow. So make sure that your knees are hips distance. And then let's go into tabletop, which means the back is straight. And in here, make sure that your arms are shoulders width. It can be closer, but it will be more stable for you. So from here, inhaling and arching, lifting your chest and hips up, looking up to the ceiling, exhaling, curling into a little ball, so tilt your pelvis up and look to your belly. Inhaling, again, opening through the chest and arching, exhaling and curling into the center, and a little bit bring your pelvis backwards, so that you would feel your front thighs working. And inhaling, arching and opening, looking up, and exhaling again, curling and bring your pelvis under. So a couple more times, inhaling, opening, looking up, exhaling, closing into the center, activating your buttocks and core. Last time, inhaling up and exhaling, curling. And in here, just sit cross legs and we will start to warm up our arms. So this time we will do more for the biceps. This will be like a pull-up uh, motion. So we will do lifting up. Now, uh, before we go together, just note what your legs will do. Try not to push away from your feet, from the soles, because that way you're only holding for your legs, not arm muscles. We're focusing on arms. So try to relax your legs, relax your pelvis. So we will start now together. So grab yourself firmly, shoulders apart, 
Inhale. And exhaling, lifting up, pulling yourself as much as you can. Inhaling, down. And again, exhale up. Try to keep shoulders next to your hands. And inhaling, down. So three more. Exhaling up. Inhale when you are pelvis on the ground. Two more. And one more. And a little bit relaxed, so just uh, bending forward again, swinging as we did in the beginning of the class. And uh, we will do one more time. And who wants more of that challenge, you can also add that by lifting your legs. That means when you're lifting through your arms, you're also lifting your knees and then slowly down. Just don't drop your body. <laughs> we don't want to bump our hips or pelvis and get hurt. So this time we will do only three times your choice with legs up or just as we did before, only from your arms. So inhaling and exhaling, lifting up, but with legs, inhaling down, two more. Exhale. And last one. And relaxing, again, just in the front, swinging from side to side. And let's make in the middle, inhaling, coming up, and lift your hips and walk with your knees towards the front of the mat. Bring yourself behind. So this time you concentrate more on shoulder opening, the front of the shoulder, pectoral muscles in here that connect your chest and shoulders. So now bring one of your arms just behind you and put it in the silk. A little bit bent forward, but it would be more comfortable for you to bring that other arm also into the silk. And then, still bending forward, try to put your hips on your heels. So if you feel already in here enough of stretch through the shoulders, just leave it in here. But if you want more, you can always just lift it up and you always can increase your shoulder opening through leaning back. So each person is unique and different and the shoulders also different. So don't pressure yourself if you can't get up all the way, if you're still here, it's okay. The important thing in yoga is that you just feel that stretch. So wherever you are, just hold it. If you want, you can just a little bit swing from side to side. You can close your eyes just to concentrate on sensations and where exactly you're feeling the stretch and that opening, the space for your chest, for your shoulders. Don't forget to breathe as deep as you can and slow. So one more breath in. Okay, and open your eyes if you've been close to them. And just relax for a short time into child pose. Just bring your arms next to your hips, relax your head, your shoulders, just a few moments. Let the pose that we just did sink into the body. One big breath in and out. Inhaling, coming up. And this time we will do more intense pose, which will be a plank, a reverse plank. And it will be concentrated on uh, triceps. So now, just turn towards yourself, bring both legs into it and keep your feet in V shape that you want to slide it out. So keep hooking through your toes and bring your palms just behind you. Uh, I would suggest that your fingers would be towards your back, not outside. And from here, we're gonna lift up but also push forward and do some like press ups through our arms. So inhaling, push the hips forward and up, and exhaling all the way down and bending your elbows. And again, inhaling, pushing forward as much as you can, 
and exhaling down and landing your elbows. So we will do five more times like that. Okay, so together, inhale, lifting your hips and push forward and exhaling down and bend the elbows. Four more, inhaling up, exhaling down. Concentrate on our body on one straight line. Activate your buttocks, the whole back, and also the full power from your arm muscles. Two more. Keep pushing as much as you can. And then the last one, the juicy one. And exhaling down. And for now, just a little bit relax on your back, swinging from side to side. Just relaxing your shoulders because they got a lot of work done here. Same as our triceps, the back of the arms. One more breath in, exhaling, and then just hugging your knees and from around back, back coming up. And here we will go to sun salutation. So please stand up. So stand in front of the mat, more or less, and we will do a sun salutation, the classical one, with the feet into the sun. So bring your right leg into the silk, just behind. If you can't, just put the leg from behind. Just turn into the silk, bring the right leg in, and then just turn forward. Okay, so first two cycles, we will go slowly, step by step. And then we go then up we together with the breath. So start again in mountain pose. Uh, remember the, the leg is on round, it's not locked, locked when you just dripping and uh, squish uh, pushing into the kneecap and into the joint. So try to keep a little bit your knee flexible and springy but you won't get too much pressure on your knee. Okay. So starting here, inhaling and reaching up wide with your arms up and looking up to the thumbs. And then exhaling and arms away from you and chest towards your thigh, nose towards your knee. If you can't reach the ground with your fingers, just bend more of your knee, but try to straighten it as much as you can, but still by touching the ground. So now towards the knee. Now inhaling and we Pushing away the back leg into, uh, and straightening the knee and into the lunge. Lifting your head and hands under the shoulders, front knee over the heel. And inhaling, looking up. And exhaling, bring your palms all the way down and stepping back into the plank. So, shoulders still over your wrist. And the left leg on the ground, the right one inside the silk, holding the back is straight line, so make sure that your hips not up or not sinking down, just holding your core. So one more time, inhale here and exhaling, bring your left knee on the ground and we'll go to yogi push-up, so bring your weight a little bit forward and then bending your elbows, but elbows lifting and just trying to put your chin on the ground. Elbows lifting and by your ribcage. Inhaling, pushing away and looking up to the ceiling. And we will do two more times that you clearly know how to do this push-up, but it will be for you clear the whole thing. So one more time, inhaling, lifting your four, uh, chest up and giving that direction forward and exhaling, bending your elbows next to your ribs and bringing your chin down as much as you can. Inhaling up and one more time. So exhaling forward and down, elbows by our sides. Inhaling up, looking to the ceiling and arching. Exhaling, bring your back leg, left leg on tiptoes and bring your hips up into the downward dog or free leg dog. And in here we will a little bit hold this pose just to get the pose sink into the body. So pushing through your palms as if you're pushing the, the mat forward while the chest draws toward the thigh and feel the lengthening through the spine, through the hips as if you want 
with your tailbone to reach the ceiling, but uh, also pushing not only for palms but for arms and shoulders. And keep your legs straight as much as you can. The leg on the ground can be bent on tiptoes, but the goal is to try to reach your heel on the mat, put it on the mat. So two more breaths. Last one. And then lift your head, look in between your arms, bend your left knee and inhaling, bringing in between your arms and to the lunge and looking up to the ceiling. Exhaling, bringing your right leg towards that left and nose towards the knees. Inhaling with a straight back, coming up and reaching up and exhaling down, arms by the side. Okay, so changing sides, either you can just change it by taking it out of a silk or you can just take the silk from inside, bring the, the third leg and just changing into the silk without taking them out. So your choice, whichever you want. One is faster, one is more fun. Okay, so our leg also slowly and then we'll go dynamically. So be prepared. Remember, don't lock the knee. It's a little bit bent, soft and feel the mountain pose, a straight line. In here we're already preparing and inhaling, coming up with your arms and looking up to your thumbs, the shoulders down. Exhaling, bending forward for your chest toward the thigh, nose towards the knee. And inhaling, opening through the hips into the lunge and looking forward or up. Exhaling both arms down under the shoulders and bring your right leg on the mat but backwards into the plank. Inhaling and holding in here one straight line, remember core is active. And exhaling your right knee on the ground, knees just under the hips. And then three times we will do this push up. So inhaling, bringing your weight forward and exhaling, bending your elbows just by your side but not on the ground. Inhaling, coming up. And two more. Exhaling, bring your weight forward and down, chin on the ground. Inhaling up. And last one. Inhaling and exhaling down, the yogi push up, inhaling up and arching through your back and looking up to the ceiling. Exhaling, bring your right toes on the ground and push away from the ground, lifting your hips, pelvis up into free leg dog, downward dog. So pushing through your palms, pushing through your shoulders, through a whole back and Feeling as if your tailbone is reaching up to the ceiling. While both legs trying to stretch out, so you should feel the stretch through your hamstrings and not only through your back. And the chest, draw your chest towards your thigh, towards your base leg, so which, which is right. And keep on breathing. Still a jive breathing. Last breath in and out. And inhale and look you in front of the mat, bending your right knee and jumping in between your arms into the lunge. And exhaling, drawing your left leg towards the right, nose towards the knee. And inhaling through soft knee, coming up, reaching with your arms. And exhaling down. Let's leave the same leg into the silk. And now we will do dynamically, uh, left leg and then the right. So this time we're not stopping anywhere and not repeating any pose. We just go with the flow. So try to breathe each pose as I say, okay? That will be when you feel more continuation of a movement. Okay, so straight line and inhaling, opening up, looking up to the ceiling. And exhaling, chest toward the thigh, nose towards the knee. Inhaling, opening through your hips into the deep lunge and opening the chest. Exhaling, palms on the ground, jump back into the plank. Hold, inhaling. And exhale, bring your right knee on the ground. Bring forward to the weight and push up. Inhaling up and arching, exhaling downward dog. Bring your hips up. And inhaling, jumping forward into the deep lunge and looking up. 
Exhale and draw your left leg towards your right. Inhaling, coming up and opening your shoulders. And exhaling, hands by your side. And changing legs. So either simply just taking out or if you want that fun way, just bring it up and changing in the silk. So now the right leg is supposed to be the right foot into the silk. Mountain pose, prepare for the last cycle. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, bending forward, nose towards the knee. Inhaling, opening through the hips and deep lunge, back leg is straight. Exhaling, plank and hold. Inhaling here, core strong. And exhaling, left knee on the ground, weight forward and bend your elbows. Inhaling up and looking up to the ceiling. Exhaling, three legged dog, stretch your back. Inhaling, left leg in front of the mat and looking forward or up. Exhaling, bring your right leg towards the left. And inhaling, reaching up. And exhale, bring your palms next to your heart. In Anjali Mudra. Just a few moments. Feeling the breath. Perhaps it got a little bit faster. More rapid. Nice breath in. And out. And take out your right leg. And now, uh, Go behind your silk petal, go will be in front of you. And let's a little bit get strength in our deltoids, the top of our arms, shoulders. So hold your silk hips apart, feet together, and imagine already that you have that straight line, everything is active, activate your glutes, activate your core, and try to keep that line and then uh, bringing your whole body weight on tiptoes and leaning forward, but still holding the line. Yeah, so that it won't be like that your hips are still where it's at and we're just, you know, bending. So the line is one straight, the whole body is going forward. So let's go together. We will do five times. So holding the silk firmly, elbows a little bit bent and uh, try to keep your shoulders always down, so think of the neck length. So inhaling and exhaling, go on your tiptoes and go forward as much as you can, looking front, not down. Inhaling, coming back on your heels. And exhaling again, in one straight line, everything is active. Inhaling, coming back. So three more, exhaling forward, inhaling back. And last two. Better less, but everything is still in line and no pressure in the neck or shoulders, not here, but down. And coming back. And from here, uh, since we warmed up the top of shoulders and arms, we're gonna do jumps and then flips. So this time we're gonna do jumps when the silk is in front. So wrap around once this time. So spread your arms wide through the front, inside one time and the arms are supposed to be just in front of your shoulders, next to them. No higher or lower. And from here, so inhaling and exhaling, bringing your knees up and inhaling while your legs is down. So important thing, it's more like a um, more concentrating on the momentum that you're holding, the pose that you have to feel that you're holding the whole body from your arms and arms should be next to your shoulders even when we're lifting the whole body. Okay, so try to concentrate on this. It's not that as high as you can jump, just more on the holding on one spot. So let's try it together. So inhaling and exhaling, jumping. Inhaling down and four more. Exhaling up. Inhaling down. You should also feel the core. And two more. And last one. Okay, and just a little bit shake it off. 
take away the tension from your shoulders and arms, a little bit like twirling and twisting, whatever it feels good for you. So now, the same jump, but this time we're adding this leaning backwards thing. So when you uh, wrap around, so the same jump, and just a little bit necking back through your head, but you will go all the way around. So, and don't be, feel pressure that it don't come up instantly. Just uh, give it time to strengthen in your arms. Just do the jumps, but also try to do the whole flip. And don't be scared, the silk will hold you. Uh, what, worst case scenario, if you will jump and you will release it, you will end up in downward dog where the silk holds you by the hips. Okay, so let's try a few more. So the hands are still shoulder width and jumping and down. Try not to slide, but hold where you hold it in the first place, where you started. And landing softly on your tiptoes. So two more. And the last one. Okay, um, if you did flips, you will notice that the vessel will wrap around a lot, so unravel, unwrap it, and just a little bit shake it off. Okay, so last round. This time we will do only three. Uh, your choice, either jumps, either flips, or another challenge. Then we will, if you feel comfortable in jumps, uh, sorry, in flips, then wrap around over your head, almost straight arms, it will, and we will add sliding as in circles. So we will jump, hold in the middle, and slide out. We will look like this. We start picking a little wall, sliding through our arms into the hips, and you can straighten up into the swing pose, and then start again. So let's do it together three times. As I said, jumps, flips, or this sliding jump, flip. So I will do the final one with a sliding. So inhaling and exhaling, jumping, stopping in the middle if you do the sliding, sliding down, and straighten up into the swing, and two more times. Your choice which one. And the last one, if you already do the jump or jump with a sliding, you can do not after that go out of the silk. We will leave it there in the downward dog. We will meet in the downward dog because this actually is a flip and sliding is like a transition to go into that pose. So let's do the last one, either jump. If it, after the jump, then we will go regularly away into downward dog. If a flip. Let's go together through it and let's meet down on the mat. So just make sure that the silk is under the hip uh, where the groins are, not over it. Don't pressure, uh, don't make sure that it not squeezes your belly. Okay, so straighten your arms, go walking forward as much as you can, relax your head, elbow straight, shoulders active. But the legs are relaxed and bent, and just swinging through your hips, just a little bit relaxing and stretching through your back and shoulders. Keep on breathing and noticing how your body feels now. Which body part is more, perhaps, perhaps warm. Which one is more active? Which one is more passive and relaxed? And let's stop in another. From here on, we will go to scorpion pose. So hands under the shoulders, legs wide and wrap around the silk. Just remember from outside to inside. And the item one step back if you feel comfortable and close, you can move more. And pushing away from the ground, 
don't collapse in your shoulder, shoulders are active and keep on pushing too. Also, don't let go of your pelvis. This is not what we're doing. We're keeping the back straight. That means pelvis is tilt and under. This is more for the strength, not flexibility. And here I want more of, the, of that uh, stability in our shoulders and arm strength. So keep on breathing, keep pushing from the ground and keep pelvis under. Legs wide, knees wide, and buttocks active. Also, a little bit notice if your elbows are bent, that they won't again jump and sink into the joint. Last two breaths. Last breath in and out. And walking forward in front of the mat and relaxing on your elbows. And just feel now totally the opposite position where shoulders and arms totally completely relaxed. And notice the feelings, sensations. Yeah, legs can be inside the so that you can take them out. Whichever feels good for you at this moment. Just a few more breaths. And then simply coming out of the silk, either regular way, just bringing your legs on the ground, or either through opposite the reverse flip. So just taking the silk behind you, knees, nose towards the knees, and coming up. And a little bit just relaxing, head down but it won't be swinging from upside down and going straight away up. So just a little bit grounding for your legs. Mountain pose, you can close your eyes or just keep soft, seeing to run towards the front. A few moments. Last breath in. And out. And then from here on, we will go to the uh, bat pose and other variations from that pose. So, first, let's meet into the cocoon as we do in Shavasana, and we will continue. So, we're going through the flip into cocoon. If you're not sure how to do the flip, just check the video up above. And there's another video in detail how to do it and all the cues. So now just meet, let's meet in the cocoon. And let's continue to the back pose. So take the edges first and just a little bit uh, push the soap towards the feet. That there will be more fabric on your legs. And what is important that your shoulders will be covered. Uh, while the head is out, so the silk is maximum up to where your uh, hair starts. And um, so cover your shoulders and also cover your shins. So the silk is supposed to be just over your knees, I will lift to show you. So it covers the knees more or less, depends of course on the person and how long your legs. But more or less, more or less it should cover your shins and uh, calves. So now from here, uh, we're taking with four fingers the silk that is uh, on, on top of our legs while the thumbs will bring and grab from inside the outside edge and it looks like our palm is covered by the fabric and from here we will do the back flip so inhaling with legs straight coming up through the plow pose and then straightening up into the bat, into the plank, and inhaling, lifting your hips up and straight legs down. So we will do two more times with split. 
So I'm inhaling, lifting the legs, and exhaling, straightening. Inhaling the hips up and straight legs, coming back into a sit. Last time, inhaling, coming up, and exhaling, straightening, and hold. Keep on breathing. Engage your core, your buttocks, the whole body in one straight arm, uh, line. Arms active as well as shoulders. Last breath in. And breathing out, take your right leg on the ground. And do small just uh, movement through and uh, lifting our knee towards the chest and now just engaging even more and working out more on our core and abs. So exhaling knee towards the chest, inhaling down two more. Exhaling, inhaling down, last one, exhaling and inhaling down and from here we stretch out into the split so bring your weight towards your heel the back leg um, can be bent more important that you will straighten your front leg and just keep on pushing into that heel and we'll turn a little bit so that you can see more clearly just relax your head because it's already tomorrow you will feel pressure from the silk on your neck so just relax it keep on breathing Exhaling longer than inhaling. Two more breaths. Last one. And from here we will go to the flying bat. So now just bend your front knee. A little bit bring your weight forward and then similar what we did just before. Uh, you will bend your front knee and lift it. So, but this time, uh, front leg's foot will go onto the straight leg, straight leg knee. And it would look like this, holding your core and your back straight. So just a little bit with a swinging motion and holding your arms, your shoulders, everything is engaged and working. So one more breath in. And exhaling, just and wrapping into the cocoon. And just a little bit relax. Perhaps if you feel too much pressure on your neck, you can collapse your arms, grab your head, and a little bit bring your chin, chin towards the chest, elbows next to your ears. If you want to a little bit, bring your chin from one shoulder to the other, where you feel more stretch diagonal through your neck. And then we will do the same with the other side. So again, both legs in the silk. Cover your shins. Four fingers grabbing the fabric that covers your legs and palms inside. Wrapping. And make sure your shoulders covered, inhaling, lifting, and then straightening into this bat in this kind of plank pose. Holding your horn, breathing. And letting out the left leg on the ground. So here the small movements, lifting your knee towards the chest three times as we are preparing for that flying mat. So inhaling and exhaling, knee towards the chest, inhale, down, and two more, exhaling, up, and down. And one more time, engaging your core, and down, and then the split. So bring your weight towards the heel, towards the back leg, and try to straighten both legs but more importantly, the front one. The back one can be more or less relaxed. Relax your head and keep on breathing deeply and slowly. Feel the opening through the hips and that stretch through your hamstrings and groins. Last breath in and out. 
and we will go to flying back so bend your front knee leaning more forward and bring your left foot next to your right knee and hold your core the back is straight don't collapse two more breaths and lifting your hips and and twirling into the sill a little bit of stretching your neck perhaps chin by your chest and pulling through your arms your head And the last thing what we will do is uh, bat pose the whole um, flip around. So this time we're not going forward and backwards, we're going all the way. So again, so over your knees, grabbing with the four fingers, thumbs inside. And here we stretching and bending your knees. Lifting up for your arms and again coming back into the book. So let's try it two more times. Don't worry if you don't get it instantly, just maybe try it more times after this video or you can pause it and then continue. So let's do it two more. Straightening, bending your knees, lifting through your arms and shoulders and just leaning back. And the last one. three times and just relax we reach our shavasana that juicy time relaxing time just after everything what we did through the class and working on our muscles so this time let's leave the body to sink into this relaxation so just make yourself comfortable and legs either straight, either in sleeping butterfly with the hips open and knees bent. So whichever is more comfortable for you. Arms crossed over to the chest and just close your eyes. Perhaps a few times breathing out through your mouth as if sighing. Letting go of all the tensions. your natural breathing, barely noticeable, and just scanning the body through from your toes up to your head, just check in your, in your mind consciously if your feet relaxed, your shins, knees, thighs, relax your buttocks, hips, Notice your abdominal area, your chest, relax the whole back, the lower back, your waist and upper back, shoulders. Relax your hands and arms. Release your neck, jaw and all facial muscles. The whole body is completely relaxed. Your mind becoming more calm, less thoughts. And if they were here, just let them go, just breathe them out. Each breath out, just feel how your body sinks into the silk, into the space. No rush or running around. No 
the planning or whatever happened before, remembering. Just be in this moment, in here and now. Just accepting your body, accepting your feelings, accepting yourself. Your breath and just gently feel again how your body awakens. If you feel that you want to do a longer shavasana again, just continue to like that. But if you feel that you're ready to awake, then move your fingers, your toes, and inhaling, reaching up. Put your arms over your head and stretching, perhaps from side to side, whatever feels good at this time. And then taking the edges out a simple way of through a flip. We meet down at a comfortably seat in the seated position on a mat. So if you want, you can take the cushion or a block just under your pelvis that it will be comfortable for you to sit and keep the spine straight. And if you find that position that is comfortable for you, just close your eyes, relax your arms, your shoulders. Again, reconnecting yourself with the earth, with the ground, from the air element. Just feeling that connection and uh, how pelvis, your buttocks touch the ground, your legs touch the ground of the mat. Still breathing deeply, softly. Just notice what the sensations now after the whole class, that intense class for our arm muscles and shoulders that opening and stretching, taking away all our tensions, stress, worries, everything just out of us, into the ground. Just breathing out. What is unneeded? What is old? Just letting go. And inhaling what is new and fresh, what inspires you. Inhaling that love and kindness into yourself. Spreading through your body within. And inhaling, reaching up with your arms. Exhaling palms next to our heart. And then here we'll finish our class. So thank you for practicing together with me.
Uh, hope you like this class. Uh, please comment and share your experience down below or just reaching out through Instagram or Facebook, also on Camille Gear uh, profiles. So thank you um, and keep following and subscribing to my channel for weekly videos and updates for more aerial fun and magic. So thank you. Namaste guys and have a good day. Bye.